Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Victor and in this video we're gonna learn how to build this. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is gonna be an SVG animation. I'm gonna build it using HTML, CSS and uh, vanilla JavaScript. Uh, there's gonna be a link in the description like always from where you can grab the source code or if you wanna follow along with me, I'm gonna write everything from scratch. So that's gonna be useful for you as well. And that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So I have three files. I already opened my VS Code in my uh, project folder. I have three files, index.html, style.css, and app.js. In my index.html, I have an HTML5 uh, page, and I import the style.css and the app.js. So before I write any, any other code here, I'm going to open um, Figma. Figma is a tool that's going to generate uh, an SVG for us, like you can, you can write here text or just uh, images, icons, and this is going to generate an SVG tag so we can paste it in our index.html and then play around with it using CSS and uh, JavaScript. So what I'm going to do here is the following. Uh, if, if this is, f Sigma is for free, you can download it from Google, that's why I picked it because anybody can use it. Um, so uh, before, if you didn't use it before, uh, in this video I'm going to use a plugin. So go to, click on these three lines, go to plugins. This is the plugin I'm going to use in this video. It's called uh, Iconify. So if you don't have it installed, just click on manage plugins and then click on discover plugins in Figma community. And then from here, it's going to be the second one. I mean, uh, as for right now, it's the second one on the list. But um, just look for Iconify and just click inst install. And then after that, just go back to your tab. And then here, let's paste a frame. Let's make a frame here, like this. And then I'm gonna uh, paste a rectangle just to make it the color a little bit different because the, the icon is gonna be white. So here I'm gonna click on the fill uh, field. So I'll choose a blue, darker, something like something like this okay and then here I'm gonna uh, right click on it and I will go to actually no actually I'm gonna go here plugins and I will click on Iconify and this plugin is gonna display a list of icons in my case I'm gonna pick this you can pick whatever you want from here you can also write the text you know just write a letter or two letters and just play around with uh, you can add the same animation for your text so I'm gonna click here and import icon it's gonna say the icon is being imported then I go here so this is where I see the icon um, but I want to kind of make it bigger wait it goes behind this frame so what I want to do here is I want to do this or not this see no sorry about that guys okay you want to have the group here on top and then you have here the emoji rectangle and then the frame okay so uh, what I want to do here I want to make it make it a little bigger something like this and just center it like this now I want this to be white, so I'll click here on the fill color, I'll choose the white color, I'll close it, and then I'll right click on it, and there is going to be the outline stroke. So I'll click on the outline stroke, and basically here under the stroke, I'm going to click on this plus, and I will choose the stroke color, which is going to be white, and the size of it is going to be 5 in my case, and I'll press enter, and then close this one and then here where the fill color is I will click here and I'll just make it transparent alright so this is what I'm gonna have uh, for now okay so now I will uh, right click on it and I'll go to copy paste and I will copy as SVG and then after this I'll open my HTML file and I'll paste it here like this boom Alright, so I have the SVG tag, width, height, and then I have the path of my of that smile. Okay, so um, 
I will save it. And then I have a I have a plugin for my VS Code. I don't know. I mention it in every video I'm using it. So it's called the Live Server. If you don't have it, just go under your uh, plugins and search for Live Server. It should be this one. Just click on it, install it, and then after that, just go to your uh, index.html, right-click on the file, and then um, click on Open with Live Server. And this is gonna open up a new tab, uh, new tab in your browser, like this. And uh, this is my demo. So if I refresh it now, it's gonna be blank. But this is basically gonna open a new tab in a uh, on your API, local API, and 5500 port. So whenever you make changes in your file and you you save it, this page is gonna reload by itself, like automatically. Obviously, okay. So um, we I can't see anything right now on my screen because my uh, you know the SVG is also white. So I'm gonna go to the style CSS file. I'm gonna write some basic CSS here. This is the global uh, style. So I'm gonna have padding zero, margin zero, and box sizing border box. Now here below, I'm gonna add some styling to the body section. So here's gonna be width 100%, height, oops, Height is uh, is going to be a hundred VH because I want to make it full screen, and I, I will have a background color which is going to be four thirty five C ninety five. It's gonna be blue. This is uh this is my uh, I like this color. I use it on my logo and and uh, on my websites everywhere. Okay, um, so if I save it now and go back here, I'm gonna see this smile here. It's it's nice and big, but. Uh, I want to center it now, so um, I'm gonna go back to my index.html, and here I'm gonna add a, I'm gonna add an ID to my SVG tag. So I'm gonna have ID smile, and I will save it. I'm going back to my style CSS, and in this file I'm gonna add some style to the smile ID. So I'm gonna have smile, and here I will add the position absolute. And top, I will put 50% per, uh, and 50% and then left 50% as well. And let's see, and let's see what, where is the smile. So it kind of is like 50 by 50, but it's not centered. In order for us to really center it, I mean, it's kind of centered, but starting from this line, but if we really want to center it, we should use the transform attribute and we use translate and here we put minus 50% and minus 50% top and left so uh, if I save it now um, this is kind of not centered either <laughs> okay let's see okay I forgot the percentage here all right so now it's uh, it's centered it looks good right in the middle of the screen um, the next thing is um, I would like to let's see here now I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and add some JavaScript here actually before I do that let me just show you one more thing so sometimes you might have multiple paths in your SVG so if you have multiple paths you can play around with uh, you can uh, style them using CSS in the following way for example all these paths are uh, in our smile ID so here, for example, in this video, I'm gonna use a um, I'm gonna use the stroke dash uh, dash array and stroke dash offset. So let's say, for example, let's just imagine we have multiple paths here. In order for us to play to manipulate with them, we should use the following command. So we have smile path, and then here we have nth child. So let's say child one. This means we're playing right now with the first path. In our case, we have just one, so I'm just going to leave just for one like this. But you just keep in mind that you can use this if you have multiple other uh, paths. Maybe you have a word uh, with different letters and you want to add separate styling for each letter and stuff like that. So here's, uh, I'm going to use the stroke dash array. And I will put here, let's say I'm just going to leave 10 pixels for now. So if I save it and go back to my... Uh, 
page I will see that this line you know the path line is kind of broken down so this 10 pixels is the space in between these lines so for example if I add here let's say 50 and I go back here you know like made these lines really uh, bigger and it splits it it splits it in equal sizes if I can say like that and okay so um, the goal is here to add as many uh, pixels here as possible to fill it in like all the way so for example if I put 150 150 if I go back it's you know it's almost half so if I put 300 for example 300 you know it's almost but there's another command I'm gonna use in here which is called stroke dash offset stroke dash offset so this is basically going to play uh, around with the position so let's say if I put here uh, 50 put 50 pixels like this you know it's the position of this stroke kind of changed all right so I just wanted to show you this I'm actually gonna leave comments here in the source code in case you want to get it from my uh, github so this is gonna be the space and this is gonna be the position the position okay uh, I want to get here the exact number of uh, the exact amount of pixels to make it full so in order for me to do that I'm gonna write a uh, JavaScript uh, code here so I'm gonna have a variable which is gonna be const smile and I will assign the document dot uh, query query selector all and I'll put here smile ID and I want to get the pass so I get the path all of them so if there's another path it's gonna be assigned to the same variable and then here I will do a console log just to see what I have in my smile uh, variable like this so I will save it I'll go back here I'll just open my uh, cons uh, console and here I have not node list so I have one path it's just one which is zero index is zero because everything starts from zero um, so I will replace it with a four in case just uh, there's another path just keep in mind that so I'm gonna have here a four let I equal to zero and then I uh, smaller than smile dot length like this and then I plus plus so it's gonna loop through each path and it's gonna console log the uh, let's say we want to console log let's say the icon I uh, is oops I want to get those the 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 path uh, dimension here is concatenate so we have smile index i dot get total uh, length like this okay so let's see what we've got here okay so icon zero because if you remember we had just one with the index zero is 977 pixels which means to fill this whole uh, path I have to put in my CSS file in here 977 almost 78 but let's do just 77 and let's see what's happening here jeez I already forgot number <laughs> 977 <laughs> okay I'm just thinking about a hundred things at the same time so okay so we see that it's it's filled uh, it's filled up now the line is showing all properly and and everything so this is good now I want to do the same thing here I want to choose the same uh, 977 for the position and then from here I'm going to try to make this um, uh, path animate you know like to start um, drawing by itself okay so uh, to start animation I want to make to make this stroke uh, dash offset uh, zero by default 
so when the animation will start it, it actually will start from zero and will go around like this so uh, in order for me to do that I should use the key uh, keyframes so I have keyframes and I will say for example line animation okay and I'll put here T stroke dash offset zero uh, and then here where my path is right below here I'll add animation and I will put line animation and I'll put seven seconds easy forwards okay so I wanted to fill in seven seconds so if I save it now and I go back here I see the animation is working which is really great if I refresh it one more time and seven second it works okay but now I want to make it uh, I want to make it wide so uh, um, whenever it's done whenever this path is done I want to make this smile uh, to be wide so in order for me to do that I should go to actually here below and I want to say for example keyframes um, I'll use another keyframes keyframes fill and here I'm going to have to fill white and also I'm gonna go to the smile here and I will add animation because I have to oops animation because I have to use uh, this one the fill keyframe so I'll put fill and I want this to happen 0 0.5 seconds easy forwards and I want this to start uh, make to start becoming white uh, after 2.5 seconds like this so if I go back now you can see like this but then you know like see it becomes white but it's like suddenly it's like boom it's not smooth you see boom it becomes white I want to make it smooth so here in the keyframe I'm gonna add right be above T I want to add from and I will put feel transparent so if I save it now and go back here now we see that this white it's uh, it's more transparent so just to show you that um, what this seven seconds means like for example if we put just one second was the and we look here you see like the speed is increasing all right so um, yeah my, I want to put seven seconds because you know I like it more like uh, animation is longer and it, it looks more beautiful all right guys that's it for this video I hope you liked it if you uh, like this kind of content where if you have any questions leave it in the comments um, give it a thumbs up to this video subscribe for my channel and I will see you in the next video